Hello, hello. Hello, my name is Libiba and I am in Year 6, Diamond Class. I have been part of this school since nursery. This film is going to be about a day in the life of an Albemarlian child. We are going to explore the different core values and subjects and the effect that they have on our daily lives. I like English, maths, art. That's the three things I like about it. Science, maths, and English, yeah, and literacy. Literally. Yeah, I like all of them. Yeah, what else? What do, I mean, what does love for learning mean for you? Um, it's when you like learning. Um, responsible. What else? And do you have a love for learning? Yes. Really? Yes. Why? Because learning makes me feel like it makes me feel fun. Loving learning makes me feel how I work more neat. When you have a love for learning, um, that's, that's when you really want to do lots of learning. Do you think you'll have a love for learning when you're 40? Yes. Why? Because um, learning is important. Do you think grown-ups have a love for learning? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, kind of, yeah. A yeah. little bit. <laughs> Share and caring, be compassionate, be kind to your friends, helping them. Um, when somebody's crying, help them up. Um, when somebody's lonely, let them play with you. Because they're really fun and, um, I forgot the word, educated, um, educational, because um. we learn from them, we have fun, they're educational, they make us become smart, they make us, they make us become good at writing, good at painting. If somebody doesn't have a friend, you need to be there for them. It shows them you're being nice and kind. Do you want to say anything else that you can think of about not just love for learning, but what you think of Albemarle? Um, I think it's great. I think it's fun. You know, after your friends and family, you show that you care. You can show your best friends that they are important to you. It's important for you to look after your friends. Friends, family and community. By being compassionate, you avoid arguments and fights, which damage the world that we live in. Being kind. 
being helpful to others, helping other people when they are hurt, helping others if they are stuck in their work, being respectful and you talk to other people, being a good friend, sharing. When you hear talk partners or writing partners thanking each other for help, we see our friends being helpful and kind in lessons, caring for other people, children sharing their equipment, ideas and time. If someone hurts themselves on the playground, there's always someone to help them. We include everyone in our games. If someone is left out, we can invite them to join in. If someone wants to join in, we can change our game and make room for extra players. Our friends look out for us. Compassion means working as a team or being a partner. Working as a team or partners can help us to learn as we hear other people's ideas and opinions. When you work together compassionately, you mix both of your ideas together to make a better idea. You can listen to your partner and learn from them. You treat each other's learning with respect. When you're being commercial, you don't tell your partner the answer. You take them on the learning journey so they can find the answer themselves. I think independence is doing things by yourself and understanding what you are doing. If you copy someone, they might have got the answer wrong and it means you're not learning anything. Independence is important because we can't always rely on our teachers. It is important that we learn to do things by ourselves. To be independent means doing your work by yourself and not copying your teacher or your friends. You need independence when you're doing your work. Otherwise, you will always be asking for help. So our teacher, he he was doing a test, and then he he thought he got the wrong answer. So then he went and he it was just one wrong answer. He got and then he got fourth grade instead of fifth. But the one he rubbed out was the right answer. I learnt that if you copy someone, they might have got the wrong, right, wrong answer. Even if they got the right answer, don't copy them. So all I want to say is be independent, don't rely on others. Focus on what you know. And the end. end. Oh, I didn't see that. Excellent means you to always try your hardest and achieve what you want and need. It's important in school so all the children can proceed and achieve what they want. Well, I remember I was trying to ask a really hard question. At first I kept on getting it wrong and then after a while I kept on practicing and eventually I got it right. Excellence is important because it can help you succeed. I think excellent means to try your hardest in difficult times. Excellence is important because it helps me to stay calm and reminds me to never give up. Taking risks, it helps us with our learning by teaching us to try hard in our lessons and not to be ashamed or embarrassed if you get things wrong. Not to be afraid to share your ideas, because you never know, they could be helpful. Try and answer questions even though you don't know if the answer is correct. I think articulate means to speak clearly. To be confident in all you do. To express thoughts, ideas or feelings. You need to be articulate when speaking in front of people. We see this in school when we are performing our school productions. It helps get our ideas across when talking to others.
Being reflective helps me a lot and at all times because as I got older, I started to find subjects I like more. Like PE, I was doing good but I wanted to do better. I reflected but I found out what I was doing wrong and then I improved. My name is Amira and I'm in year 6 and I've been in Albemarle since reception. It teaches the children on how to behave and what to achieve. Furthermore, it can also improve students' ICT skills and also teach children the dangers of the internet. For me, independence means to try my best at first. If I find it difficult, I use resources, my previous knowledge, or I ask my peers. If I still find my subject difficult, then I would ask adults in my class. An example of being independent is to trust your thoughts. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes, everyone does. Just keep trying. Taking risks helps me a lot because not everything's easy and how we want. So sometimes we will have to take risks because when I first started at our primary school, loads of people wanted to play with me, but I can't play with everybody. So I take a risk by not playing with some people and play with the others. Being compassionate helps me and everyone because it will make everyone think I'm a better person and it will make me more sociable and more empathetic. To be compassionate, you have to be kind and empathetic. If someone falls down, help them up. If someone is alone, play with them. If you see someone hurt on the playground, help them. If you see someone worried in playtime, talk to them. If someone in your classroom needs help with their work, go to them and help them. To be articulate is to speak clearly and to get your ideas and thoughts across to people you are speaking to. Never think that your ideas won't be heard. That at Alabama, there always will be someone to listen to you. Love for learning can be expressed in many different ways like doing extra homework or doing more than is expected of you. For me, it means to show how much you enjoy learning and want to exceed. A way to have a love for learning is to always push yourself in whatever you're doing. It teaches the children on how to behave and what to achieve. My favourite subjects happen to be ICT because I find working on computers and iPads easy and better and more fun way to learn. During my stay at Albemarle, the one word that stood out to describe this school is diversity. Tell me what's in there. Rice. Rice. There's like somebody with lots and lots of stuff at the front of the at the bridge, and then he showed us a lot of stuff in there, and it was so much fun. We were in a rocket, and we were flying all the way to the moon, and to the sun as well, and we learned about stars. If I could describe Albemarle in a few words, it would be full of opportunities. This is from Sarah in Year 6, Diamond Class. This reflective poster was made by Joshua in Year 6, Diamond.
Thank you.